Look at the irony of this whole thing. Tupac wear a bandana, you want to wear a bandana. Tupac put crosses on his back, you want to put a cross on your back. This is exactly what the story between with John Cena and The Rock. John Cena has been pretty much plagiarizing everybody's style since he got in. He came in rapping. He copied the G-Unit piece. He came in swagger jacking every white rapper under the sun. And he used, um, what's the dude's name? Extoic to ghostwrite his bars. So then, as soon as he really start blowing up, he ditched the rap stuff away and becomes the all-American good guy. The Marine. But then, he wanted to go ahead and start making a more name of it. So he figured, hey, I'm being disliked by a lot of these men. He already had the women demographic in a way, and he definitely had the children. So what did he do? He started throwing shots at the rock. He was basically, for years, he built a campaign smearing The Rock, calling The Rock a traitor, calling The Rock a sellout because he left for Hollywood and he never came back to the WWF. Now, mind you, he wanted to come back in 2005, but Triple H didn't want him there because they figured... We're going to focus on newer guys like Batista, Randy Orton, and John Cena. So The Rock went ahead, and he, I think there was even an issue of him using his name, just like I mentioned in the China video. So, he just went ahead and just did his thing in Hollywood. He built a new life outside of wrestling. That's what made John Cena jealous. So he figured, hey, this dude is making more on one film than I did, than I'm doing on the road. So I'm feeling this sort of way. So what did he do? This started in 2008. He starts throwing shots at The Rock. Then The Rock finally comes back years later. They get, they get their feud going. And he builds a campaign calling him Mr. Movie Star, Mr. Hollywood. All of this stuff leading on to the bout for years. Calling it, man, the Tooth Fairy. But what did you end up doing for Nikki Bella? You ended up dressing in drag. How you gonna call that man out for playing the Tooth Fairy? How some people in the C Nation going to call that dude out for playing gay roles but yet this man over here dressing in drag so after that feud what does he do he started doing the same thing the rock was doing it got to the point where he got a taste of that Hollywood spotlight and he went elsewhere all that pro WWE ish was gone. So then he tried to come back in 2016, like he runs the place. And Roman Reigns and uh, Dean Ambrose and all the younger guys, are like, look, this ain't your house no more, dude. So look at it now. The cipher is complete. And I'm not knocking a man for making his money. I'm not knocking a man for making the transition after wrestling. Because that's a tough business. You know how many guys right now are either in the grave, going through health problems because of this business? It's a trip. I don't blame John Cena for making that transition. But the problem was, you knocked the last man for doing that. You built the campaign off of that. Because The Rock won't bother in this dude. The Rock never said nothing about this dude. 
but he built that whole campaign thinking it was going to give him some stripes. And at the same time, he was drinking that pro-WWE cool. So look what he's doing now. In 2019 and 2020, you don't even hardly see Cena no more. What do he got? He got a TV show called Wipeout. Hold on, let me go to some of the movies. He got the Fast and the Furious. Who, who, who was in that before? Hmm. He's doing Suicide Squad. He's doing a movie with Jackie Chan. Huh. Interesting. Even when, and then now, I'm going to tell you this. If he does come back to, the, to SummerSlam, Roman Reigns is going to cut him up. All that ad lib for wall shoot talk he was doing on Roman. This is a different Roman Reigns now. This Roman Reigns is polished. He's a veteran now. He's at his he's at his highest streak. So all that sh off the cuff, no pun intended. All that off the cuff shooting. Reigns gonna shoot that right back at him. And the Rock, I don't know. Roman Reigns is the guy right now. He is he is killing it. A lot of people don't want to admit it, but Roman Reigns is the dude right now. So Cena can't pull all that stuff he was doing in 2017. This is a different ballpark now. So we should see. But I just want to do this video to point things out. Like This dude literally built a whole campaign on another man. For making them transition, but now he's doing the same and following his footsteps. Y'all already copied his signature move. You got the people's elbow with the with the five knuckle shuffle. Y'all already copied the G unit spinach chain. Y'all already had a stoic ghost writing your bars. So when you ain't need to rap no more, you ditch that. Now you made that full transition into Hollywood. And the cold part about it, he even apologized to The Rock. <laughs> he apologized to The Rock after all that, man. But at the end of the day, even The Rock kind of did the same. I'm going to be fair. Because he was a part of that campaign when Stone Cold walked out. He the one who started throwing shots at Stone Cold. Talk about he got WWE in his blood. I'm not going to take my ball and go home. But what did he end up doing? He did the same thing. He left even though contractual agreements came to play. But he didn't make an effort to come back. So he was wrong on that end though. Because you know at the time Vince McMahon was stirring up that WWE Kool-Aid. And people wanted to drink it. So that's that. I just wanted to do a little quick video about this here because I just found this pretty funny how they basically, he basically tried to bury the rock for going Hollywood, but yet he's doing the same and even more. Oh, he's 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 sipping that. He's drinking that Halloween. I mean, not that, that Hollywood champagne right now, Joe. So, is he going to come back? He better be prepared because Roman Reigns is ready. Yeah, I saw that. That little quote that he had, he said, if Rock and Cena are smart, they better go back to making movies. They don't want none of this. So, we'll see. This is King Eric signing out. Holla.